Why does the U.S. act as a diplomatic shield for Israel? Be speed inside you need. I'm Jun Yufeng. China Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chunying on Friday slammed the U.S. for postponing a U.N. Security Council meeting on the Palestine-Israel issue that was originally scheduled to open Friday. As of this recording, the worst conflict in years there has killed 10 Israelis and at least 197 Palestinians, including 58 children. Israel's strike on a media building in Gaza shocked the world and stoked worldwide protests against Israel. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said any indiscriminate targeting of civilian and media structures violates international law. But US President Joe Biden says Israel has a right to defend itself. So why the US is always so pro-Israel? Why has every US president from Richard Nixon to Joe Biden called Israel America's closest friend? The official rhetoric is about shared values. They say Israelis have looked to the U.S. for political and diplomatic support. Americans, in return, appreciate Israel for following Western-style democracy. Well, is it really that simple and pure? Some people believe that U.S. pro-Israel policy is traceable to the influence of wealthy Jews in the U.S. and the Jewish lobby on U.S. foreign policy makers. Indeed, there are over 5 million Jewish people in the U.S. On the rich list of Forbes, there are 18 Jews in the top 40 in the U.S. Jews dominate finance, media and internet sectors. So do they have the powerful lobbies like some say? Possible. But imagine, if Israel is not in the Middle East, will the U.S. find another ally in the region, just like how he has Britain in Europe and Japan in Asia? Here comes the real story. The US has used Israel as an instrument for advancing its geopolitical interests in the Middle East since 1960s. In 1967, the self-proclaimed Jewish state defeated Arab nationalism in the June War. Arab nationalism is an idea that the Arab world should exist for the Arabs, not Jewish settlers and US oil companies. Apparently, the US didn't like that idea and Israel did a great service to Washington and US oil interests. Ever since, Israel has become a US beachhead or its battlefront in the Arab world. Israel facilitated the US invasion of Iraq and Syria and bombed Iranian military assets in Syria. It functioned as a US proxy when Pentagon was constrained by US law. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu described his country as the West outpost in the Middle East. So the friendship between the US and Israel is not really about shared values but shared interests, which has helped Israel become a Middle East power with a military that no other country there can match. It also helped the US project its influence in the oil-rich Gulf where it legally has no authority. So turning a blind eye to the Palestine-Israel issue where Israel has an absolute advantage becomes only natural for the US to serve its hegemonism. As Canadian-based foreign policy analyst Stephen Gowans puts it, America's political and economic interest must have supremacy in the Middle East.